All right, if you are a data analyst or an Excel user and you're looking for a fun way to use ChatGPT, here's a great demo for you. I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to generate custom sample data sets that you can use to practice your skills. So check this out. I'm going to walk through a couple different examples. We're going to start with a prompt like this. I'm a recently hired web analyst for an e-commerce business looking for sample data that I can use to apply my skills. Can you please produce a sample data set in CSV format containing common fields that web analysts typically encounter on the job? Let's see what we get back. So certainly here's a sample data set in CSV format that contains common fields often encountered by web analysts. And it's producing the data right here. Looks like we've got columns like timestamp, visitor ID, and so on. And check this out, it's actually providing a nice little data dictionary here with descriptions of the fields that it produced. Timestamp, ID, page URL, referral source, device type, product category, quantity, transaction ID. These are actually really, really accurate and relevant metrics for web analytics. I actually spent about 10 years working in a web analyst role, and this is very representative of the types of data sets that we would analyze on the job. So that's great. We could just copy the code. We could dump it into Excel and start playing with it. Now I want to show a slightly different example using a very similar type of prompt. And I'm going to create a new chat for this one. And this time we're a recently hired data analyst for an HR firm. Again, looking for sample data to practice with. Now we can specify, let's produce a 50 record sample again in CSV format, and now we want it to contain common fields that HR analysts typically encounter on the job. So by default, I think ChatGPT typically produces like 10 record samples, so we could do 50 or 100. Generally speaking, we can't provide large data sets here, so let's give this one a shot. Right away, it starts producing that 50 record data set. This time we have HR specific fields like employee ID, first name, last name, birthday, gender, department, position. Looks like we've got some salaries here as well. And let's go ahead and let this run its course. And sometimes you might notice when you're trying to get it to produce a lot of code like this, sometimes it hangs up and you need to click this continue generating button. This is going to kind of pick up where it left off and hopefully get us all the way to our 50 record sample. There's our 50 records, and it gave us a little summary at the end. It includes fields like employee ID, first, last name, date of birth, gender, department, position, salary, start date, and end date. So that sounds like a pretty good set of metrics, but we all know that in the real world, the data isn't always this clean and tidy. So here's a little pro tip for you. One thing that I really like to do is add a prompt that sounds something like this. The data we normally deal with is pretty messy, so I'd like to practice my data cleaning skills as well. And now check this out, we're going to ask ChatGPT to modify this data sample to include some common data QA issues, and also describe what types of changes it made. Let's go ahead and enter that prompt. It's going to go ahead and modify the sample data set, and it's going to make these types of changes. So it's adding missing values. It's introducing inconsistent date formats. It's adding some duplicated records, inconsistent capitalization. Again, very, very common real world issue. Some incorrect salary values and gender values as well. So this is awesome. These are real world data issues that analysts often encounter in the real world. So it gives the modified sample data set with those described changes. Again, we can copy this, we can paste it into Excel. And in a matter of minutes, we've got a great relevant sample data set that we can use to practice our skills. So overall, I had a lot of fun with this demo. I think ChatGPT did a really nice job identifying relevant industry-specific fields for the sample data, and it made it very easy to simply copy and paste that CSV format right into Excel. And now that's helpful in itself, but the ability to inject realistic data quality issues was the icing on the cake for me. And this is really just scratching the surface of the types of prompts we could play with for this type of use case. Now, the obvious drawback here is that it's tough to get larger data samples. In fact, we saw it hang up a few times, even generating just 50 records. 
but still, this is a valuable learning resource and something that I expect will improve quite a bit as the technology continues to advance. But in any case, great way to grab some sample data quickly so that you can roll up your sleeves and start practicing. Hey there, if you like this video and you want to learn more, check out our brand new free course, ChatGPT for Data Analytics. You can find it at mavenanalytics.io. We'll walk you through our best practices and some of the most interesting use cases for tools like Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI, SQL, and Python. It's a fun little course, and it's a great way to get up to speed in these new AI tools. I hope you'll check it out and let us know what you think.